at the Cyberverse Adventures Bumblebee. This is the deluxe class. He does come with a build a figure, all that stuff. Uh, Maca, Maca, Macadam. I can't read. Jesus Christ. <laughs> come on now. It might be a blooper. Who knows? Well, hey there, everybody. Yeah, got to spit in my throat. Golly, man. Come on now. Let's do this. How hard is this? It makes it so hard sometimes. So to speak. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always. I'm Deluxe. All right. It's new Transformer review time. All right. So uh, my boy Input and uh, T-Man has been doing a review of this guy. Uh, T-Man really emphasized on this guy's face. I'll show you in a little minute or anything. Uh, but I was walking through Target and I looked at him and I was like, eh, I'll try it. So I'm going to take a look at the Cyberverse Bumblebee. This is the Deluxe class. And you get the Builder figure, McAdam. I think it's named McAdam. <laughs> and you get the box right there. All that wonderful stuff. Awesome, awesome. But before that, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you're new to the channel. Hit that little bell. It will notify new content. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. You know it's in the description. It's easy peasy. So let me squeeze it. Do me a favor. Go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man. Awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy sight, man. It's easy to navigate. Really nice. Awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got Legends. He's got Third Party. He's got Hasbro. He's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformers galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping. Wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you. He might even give you a virtual hug. All right. Mm, mm, mm. This thing was $20? Jeebus. All right, we'll get this thing out, look at them, transform them, get to know them a little better, all that wonderful stuff, and I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think. Yeah. All right, here is Cyberverse Bumblebee in his alt mode. So let's, ta let's take a look at what he comes with first. Instructions, as always. Pretty cool. Comes with a little pistol. Now, mind you, I have not watched the Cyberverse cartoon, so I don't know anything about these, any, any of the characters, so I apologize, for, you know, up front. A nicely done pistol. It's got some details in there. No pain or nothing like that. He comes with this little um, sword or, I don't know, whatever this thing is. It's nicely done. It's got some nice uh, silver paint. And he comes with a blast effect, which is really cool. I love the blast effect, so they're taking a little something from the Siege line. And that is awesome. So that's really cool. I really like that. So you can attach it. There's uh, two holes right here. There's a hole right there. You can put it right uh, Probably, I don't know if you can put it right there or not, but it will fit in here. So if you want to ride it like that, and there is a little storage in here, so I don't know if there's a, I don't know the correct way to put it in there. I think you can just wedge it or something in there, or maybe hope, you know, hope for the best in there. I don't know, I'm sure you can probably, yeah. So, I mean, I guess it's a storage compartment. I don't know for sure, but, you know, you can fit it in there, wedge it, whatever you want to do. But that's pretty cool. And he comes with the uh, waste part of uh, McAdam. I don't know who that character is, but it's nice to silver paint right there. And that's about it. So, pretty cool. Let's take a look at the car. So, it rolls just fine. Pretty cool. It's got tons of paint. Nice blue paint. You got blue paint for the headlights and right here. You got a little silver right there for the intakes. And you got some silver over here for the outtakes or intakes, whatever you want to call them. Nice black. You got black paint right there. And I'll take it right there. The racing stripes. Nice little Autobot symbol right there. Blue for the windows. I wish they might maybe painted the uh, rims, maybe uh, black or something, or silver. Not black. There you are, black. But silver, you know, to make them pop a little bit. You got a black right here. So tons of paint. I just wish they would, you know, painted that. That would have been pretty sweet. Underneath looks pretty good. Silver right there. So it does roll good. You know, it's it's a decent car mode. The plastic feels really cheap. It really feels a little light. Like these are twenty dollars. You know, and then you got a siege figure for twenty dollars. I would really go with the siege figure, but you know, it is what it is. That's pretty cool. I do love the little blast effect thing. That's awesome. So yeah, there is a uh, Cyberverse Bumblebee in his alt mode. Real quick, there's scale right here. There is the like I was talking about the siege. There is a uh, sideswipe. This plastic just feels a lot better for twenty bucks than what this does. And we'll throw in some legends. There's a uh, Magic Square Huffer. There's a. Uh, Iron Factory. 
and there's a new age. So, there you go. Scale. Carbogonics, a bottle of water, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, back from transformation. Here is Cyberverse Bumblebee in his bot mode. As you can tell, he can hold his weapons just fine. It's pretty cool. He has storage that will go in each hand if you want to. So there's a storage. There's a little slot back here. You just... There's a thing right there. You just slide in, hopefully. I can get it in there. Save us. Come on now. So yeah, you can store it back there. That's pretty cool. And then you got this little stinger thing, which just goes over the uh, the hand. A little slot right there. It goes over the hand. That's pretty cool. And there's a splat right here on his booty. You got to put it right there so you can hold it like that. Or you can... You know, do it like that, too, if you want to. So he looks like he's uh, pooping out blue stuff. All right, good stuff. And he does have a little thing right here, well, like most Siege figures or anything. So I guess Cyberverse is doing it. So you can put a little blast effect from, uh, you know, Siege or whatever, like he's getting shot at. So that's pretty cool. A little nipple effect right there. So yeah, that is the uh, weapons for uh, Bumblebee. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. So here is the face, and like t pointed out, he has no facial expression. He's just like, just a blank stare, like, stare into your soul. Your soul, I will take it. But not silver paint and blue eyes, so that's pretty cool. But really no expression at all. So you can turn side to side. Uh, if you move this back a little bit, he can look up a little bit, so you can get some dynamic poses. And no attitude or nothing like that, so not very much on the head movement but on down the chest very nicely done with the autobot symbol and the blue and everything so the arms can go up and down a little bit like this all the way around uh, a little bit of a butterfly because of the uh, ball joint not too much but it's there he's she, he's got the uh, 80s working woman shoulder pads so I can go up to there he does have a bicep swivel pretty cool 90 degrees for the uh, elbow and a swivel of the hand also it's on a mushroom pick, so be careful with that. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. That's pretty cool. Uh, he can eh, almost do the Van Damme, but not quite right there. Kick up, back, a little thigh swivel because of the ball joint. 90 degree for that. Nice uh, red uh, paint right there, the tail lights, and you got silver right there. It's nicely painted. Toe tilt all the way down, nothing much up, and he does have a rocker, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, the doors will go in and out like that to get more clearance. Cleans up pretty good. It's got some waffles in there, not bad. Cover up mainly. But the plastic just feels really light. Really, really light towards a siege figure and everything. But that is the articulation and sculpt of Bumblebee from Cyberverse. All right, there's two Voyagers and the only two Cyberverse I own other than Bumblebee now. And I got some uh, Deluxes and Legends for uh, scale. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks. Scale doll. So let's talk about some Cyberverse Bumblebee. So the old mode looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, I've never watched the cartoon, so I'm sure it's pretty accurate to what it is. Um, the paint on it really shines on the alt mode. The nice blue windows, they got some black and silver in, in places. I wish they would have painted the rims kind of silver or something like that or bluer. I don't know, but uh, that would have been pretty cool. But overall, really nicely done on the alt mode, and the paint really stands out there. So kudos transformation is real easy i mean it's like maybe 15 steps i think at the most i don't, I don't remember offhand but it's a really easy transformation so it shouldn't take you that long to figure it out the sculpting hardware you know sculpt is pretty good like i said i've never seen the show so i'm sure it's pretty accurate to what it is i wish he would have had a better facial expression you know he does kind of look you know just like a blank stare and he's staring into your soul of the abyss or something like that but overall the sculpt is pretty good the hardware that's where my biggest gripe is it's really light plastic it feels really cheap to be honest and you know this is a 20 dollar toy so uh, i don't know it just doesn't feel really you know that well as 
far as the hardware and everything. You know, I didn't feel like it was gonna break anything. It's got some, you know, ball joints and everything. You can pop them right back on everything, but just the feel of it and the weight of it just doesn't sit right. So, eh, on the hardware, it's kind of, you know, like that. But uh, sculpt-wise, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I love the accessories. You know, the sting thing or the bee sting or whatever you want to call it. It's got a nice blast effect. I love that. And you can add a blast effect to the uh, gun, his little pistol. That's pretty cool. So, overall, I like what it comes with. You know, and you got the little build a figure, which I have no, no idea who it is. So, you know, eh, you know, if you're, you're going to go for that, that's cool. But I love the accessories. Paint and articulation, really good to be honest. It's painted pretty good. I mean, it's got a lot of it, you know, a lot of breakup from the yellow. You got the blue, silver, black, and everything. Like I said, it really shines in the car mode, but in bot mode, it also shines there too. So very nicely done on the uh, paint wise and everything. The articulation, really good to be honest. I mean, you get a waist swivel, really nice feet articulation with the, you know, the rocker and you got the toe tilt down. Uh, you, the only thing really bad is that, you know, the 80s woman's uh, shoulder pads getting away a little bit of the arm movement, but, Really and honest, he has some pretty good articulation. So very nice on the paint and articulation. So overall, I'm kind of mixed bags with this one. I, I really like it, but it just feels really cheap, you know? So, you know, you're paying 20 bucks for this. So does the build a figure and the, you know, accessories and everything really warrant a $20 fit, you know, payment for this? I don't think so. I mean, this feels like a $12, you know, figure. I think I was hoping they would have been like 15 bucks when I saw that, but when I, you know, bring it up, it was 20, I was like, ooh. That's a lot of money. So, you know, with Siege, you're getting $20, and that feels like a $20 figure. But this just does not feel like it. But it has so much fun and playability, especially with articulation and the uh, add-on blast effects and everything. So, I mean, I think it's pretty good, but it just doesn't feel good. I, I mean, that makes any sense. I don't know. Overall, I like it, but I just wish it would have been probably around 12 to 15 bucks. It would have been a little better. So, oh well, it's pretty good. I think I'm going to try to get some other ones. I saw Megatron and uh, Shockwave, and I'll probably definitely get Optimus Prime, and we'll see. We'll go from there. All right, I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Won't you join me? Be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. All right, so like I said in my final thoughts, it's just weird. It doesn't feel right, but it's fun. I mean, the paint and articulation are there. I mean, it's really, and it's, you know, the transformation's fun. I mean, and the alt mode's not, you know, too terrible, but it just doesn't feel, it's just like, it feels cheap. It's weird, just weird. You ever feel like that with a transformer? I don't know, next to it, like a Siege figure, it just feels like it's cheaper. But it's got everything the Siege does. So, I, just weird. Do, 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 do. What's up, Bumblebee? How you doing? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, man. No, you got to talk. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm so used to bebop and boop, 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 boop. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good, too. How are you doing? I'm doing good. All right, we're all doing good. Cyberverse. Oh, I forgot I got Cyberverse uh, Shark Con, too. Oh, well. What you think about my little stinger? I'm going to sting you. Bzz, bzz. Hey, that doesn't feel good. What you want to do? I want to ride. Well, come on, get on, Bumblebee. Let's ride. All right, one, two, and get that stinger out of the way. Don't hurt me. Three, go. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Buck it off. Buck it off. All right. All right. Well, that was my review over the 80s woman's working shoulders, pads, Cyberverse Bumblebee. Like I said, he's, he's good, but he just doesn't feel good. I don't know. He's fun. You know, I like playing around with him. Also, I'm going to see about the other ones. I've watched Shockwave, and he didn't look that, you know, impressive. Uh, Optimus looked pretty good. I may uh, try to get Optimus and everything. But, you know, overall, he's fine. It just doesn't feel good. I know I repeat myself a lot, but anyways. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button if you're new to the channel. Really appreciate that. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. Are you in on these guys? And uh, I guess I'll see you on the next Cyberverse review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro, and good night, folks. I'm gonna sting you. Bzz. My little stinger. Bzz.